Hello, welcome to another review. Today we're taking a look at T Nanda One One Nine Two Six SpongeBob SquarePants from the Good Smile Company. Top of the box, sides of the box, very nice bikini for some sort of coloring effect going on there. Mine's got some Hong Kong stickers on the box, bottom of the box. So this actually came out uh, at a recent time as the uh, Super Seven figure, and uh, so we're gonna take a quick comparison. I don't have the seven. Super 7 figure, but I've seen reviews of it online, so I'm going to leave some of my comments here at the end of it to see, you know, uh, how this one compares to the Super 7 one, because they're relatively the same price, but uh, this is, this will be an import for most Western people, because it's a Japanese company and a Japanese figure, whereas if you get it from Super 7, you're paying for shipping, but it's still like a Western release, but you're still paying a similar amount to something to do import from Japan. So if you're from the West, either way, you know, they're going to cost similar prices, so you really have to choose like, hey, which one you going to prefer. Uh, inside the SpongeBob one, you do have this backing card of the Krusty Krab, so you could use this as a display uh, backing if you put this in, this figure in your shelf or just leave it in the vase. Uh, Super Seven is Super Seven. Nendoroids is quite good like this. Sometimes the Figmas and and Nendoroids will have cards that are have some kind of use with them. Inside, there's an instruction sheet in both English and in Japanese. Yes, we have a figure stand here on the back. So let's go through what we have. Aside from the main figure, some spray open hands. Let's see. We have a hand holding holding a Krabby Patty. We got a hand holding a spatula, a fully silver spatula. It is removable from the hand, so it's actually an item holding hand. We have the Krusty Krab hat. Uh, we have a thumbs up hand, two fists, and we have one knee that's bent. I don't know why we don't get two, but much, much better. We've got two bent arms as well. It looks like these arm parts are actually painted. You see white and yellow on them. And we also have a Gary here. Uh, notice that we've got two faces, but an extra set of eyes looking to the side, meaning that you're going to have to have mouth open, mouth closed, and then swap them with these uh, different eye sets, which means you have a combination of two times three. Oh, if you mix the eyes up, that's even more. So that's cool. Let's take a look, let's look at some of the accessories. So Gary is a solid piece. Uh, the eyes are even like molded right into the shell. So that that's it really. I mean, he's nicely detailed. The print is very sharp on him. So the eyes, they're very, very good, but he doesn't do anything. He is a solid piece. I think that's the similar to the Super 7 one. Okay, uh, let's take a look, let's look at this Krabby Patty with the secret formula. Does it go apart? No. Does it come off the hand? Oh, it does. So, if you have other Nendoroid accessories, or other Nendoroid characters with a hand like this, they can hold it. And there, there are actually a lot of Nendoroid stuff that is uh, you can use between different figures because they use the same joints and stuff. Um, there are hands, hands that you can buy that's just hand packs and different clothing packs and they do fit different underwear figures so that'll be the same here spatula like i said it does come out it is fully like a metallic silver print they're uh, painted and it stays in there quite well so that that's good are uh, these little pegs by the way i'm guessing they stopped the hand plastic from warping or something so i make sure they will always fit the joints it's cool but i don't know if it's actually necessary or not so okay, here's the figure uh, from what I can tell online, it is smaller than the Super 7 stuff, just a little bit. Would it fit with the Super 7 figures? Uh, possibly no. I see a 6 inch figure about this, so uh, maybe, maybe, it, I think it'll fit. It's just a tad bit smaller. Um, and from what I can so yeah, uh, quality wise, the mouth is printed very nicely. The teeth there, you see his uh, Adam's apple inside. The uh, It is very sharp printed and painted this thing. It is very good. Uh, he doesn't have any copyright information on him, which the Super 7 does on back on the of his pants. And yeah, the legs and socks are also very, very good. To swap faces, this is what you do. You just pull that out. Get the other face. Stick it back on. If you want him to wear the Krusty Krab hat, there's a plastic tab underneath. Now, I don't like this as an actual attachment, but it does keep the figure um, like looking without any joint holes and stuff. Uh, we don't have a problem here because this hat is quite small, but there are figures out there where the attachment is quite big and they become very flimsy and easy to fall off, and I'm not a fan of that when that happens. But for a small piece like this, it seems to be okay. He's got his uh, Krusty Krab hat on, and he's very happy. In order to swap the eyes, you need to pull the face off. 
Um, I'm going to use the mouth closed one. You just put your, push your, poke your hands in. The eyes pop out. You get the other set. And uh, now he's probably giggling at something funny that Squidward has done. Only problem with these eyes is that the yellow here is slightly more fluorescent looking than the rest of the body. Oh, just like the Super 7 one, uh, the body that's been back a little bit, but there's a difference here. There's a whole peg on the back on Nendoroid to have that because it comes with a stand. Uh, every Nendoroid comes with a stand, which I think is actually quite good. Uh, so a lot of figure companies, the toys, they don't come with a stand. And even if the figure itself is very hard to pose because it's got like a heavy top and a, a small legs or something, that's really annoying. So in terms of articulation, we have a peg and swivel joint and, you know, the arms themselves, they're pegs, so they are swivel also legs is on a board joint that moves a lot and surprisingly the joint is not that visible for such big movement you think there'd be a big gap there but no this is really good so you got board joint there and the leg and the feet also swivel can he stand on his own uh, he can and that, that's that's pretty good this figure on its own is pretty good. Like the actual plastic quality is great. The build quality is pretty good. The joints move very nicely. It's not too loose, not too tight. Very good clutch and the amount of accessories feel appropriate. Uh, I am still a little annoyed that we don't get a second bent knee just to get more poses out of it. Since they've already made the piece, just give us one more piece. But otherwise I'm quite happy with it overall. Um, any other improvements would be maybe have Gary's eyes on like some sort of wiring so he can move just a little bit, but otherwise he is still produced quite nicely. If I compare him to the Super 7 stuff, it really comes down to like how many SpongeBob action figures do you want? If you're only getting SpongeBob, this one makes a lot more sense because it comes with the Krabby Patty and the Krusty Krab hat as well as the spatula, whereas the Super 7 one, it comes with some jellyfishing stuff. It does come with a pair of glasses, but uh, the face and eyes don't interchange. So you only got two face options instead of a mixture of um, like like six, I think. Uh, so that's a missed opportunity there. Now, will there be other versions of SpongeBob in the future uh, that comes along with like Krabby Patty and Krusty Krab stuff? Possibly, but then you're shutting out a uh, premium price for another figure just for some extra accessories. The one biggest advantage coming from the Super 7 one is that it does ha he does have hip articulation which yes yeah, Spongebob does move his hips quite a bit and pose around a little bit so it's a little bit of a shame that this figure doesn't have that and um but overall if you like Spongebob this is a great figure to have if you don't intend to pick up any of the other characters this one is the one to go for if you do intend to pick up the other Spongebob characters you might consider the Super 7 one just because of uh scale issues this one I think is a tiny bit smaller um, but it could probably still fit in on the shelf. You know, one accessory to repeat or something if they're future Super 7 SpongeBob figures down the line that have, you know, these hats and spatulas and stuff, then that's something you might want to consider. But otherwise, this is a very high quality figure. Great look, great plastic, and decent accessories. It, it's fun, it's good. Subscribe to Justin Cobb, take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.